Hi, today I'm going to take you through the student section on the PM Benchmark software. Once you've signed into the PM Benchmark software, on the left hand side of the screen is the students tab. Select this. If you are new to the subscription, there won't be any students to select from. Please also note that the PM Benchmark software allows for unlimited students to be added to the subscription. On the right hand side of the screen are four buttons, manage student, archives, bulk upload students, and add individual students. The first thing we're going to do is bulk upload students. It provides you with instructions on how to do this. First step is download the Excel file, complete the mandatory fields for all students, save the file on your system, return to this page and upload the file. Please note, mandatory columns are highlighted in green, blue columns are optional. You then click the download button, which will download an Excel file for you. I've already done a download and added the students that I want to add into the system. So as you can see, it provides you with the information such as first name, last name, date of birth in the correct format, gender, year level, PM reading level, reading recovery, EAL, group name and notes. You'll also note, like it says in the instructions, green columns are mandatory while blue columns are optional. I've only filled out the mandatory fields. From there, we return to the main screen and we will upload that file by clicking choose file. You select the file you want to upload and click open. Then on the bottom right hand side of screen is the create students button. Click this. It will then tell you the bulk upload has been completed and three students have been uploaded successfully. We can now go to the view all students where we can search for those students in the student section. The student's been uploaded successfully. In this section, it also provides you with their name, any groups they're been added to, the age of the student, the year level, the PM reading level, and the ability to edit the student's profile if necessary. The next thing we're going to look at is uploading an individual student. We can do this by entering in the relevant information. Once all fields have been entered in, on the right hand side of screen, click the save student button. Again, we can search for that student using the search bar. And you'll see that that student has now been saved to the system. The next button we're going to look at is the manage students button. In this screen here, we're able to delete individual or multiple students if they are no longer required to use, use the subscription. We can scroll down and search for the students that we'd like to delete by clicking the tick box next to their name. From there, scroll back to the top of page and click the delete button. Are you sure you want to delete the selected students? Yes. You have successfully deleted the selected students. To return to the main page of the student section, 
click the Manage Student button again, and you will be returned to that main screen. The last thing we can look at is archives. And what this allows you to do is to restore a student and allow them access to the subscription again. To do this, we locate the student and click the unarchive button. And that student has been successfully restored. There is also an option to permanently delete a student if necessary. To return to the main screen, click the backwards arrow button, which will bring you back to the home screen. And that's accessing the student section of the PM Benchmark software. Thank you.